Hey everyone, my name is Chris. Season 2 is coming out tomorrow and in this video I would like to discuss some pain points that we have in the community for the past 3 months. And if developers would cook them up, we will have an insane, unique and super interesting game. A lot of players would switch from their main titles such as Apex, Overwatch and would gladly transition to play the finals full time because of how fun this game actually is. Hands down, the most important thing that developers need to look into is a proper ELO based ranked system where if you have a certain threshold, you cannot play with people below that. Meaning that if you are a Diamond 1 player, you will never be able to see players below Diamond 4 in your lobbies. And a lot of players might say, but Chris, you would have to wait for 10-15 minutes for a game and it's gonna be progressively longer the higher you climb and top tier players, the ones that are from rank 1 to rank 100, are never gonna find game outside of prime time. Let me tell you, amazing beautiful this is exactly how the system should be we have that in overwatch where people are waiting for the game for 20 minutes and no one is complaining because i would rather play one quality game an hour rather than stomping noobs all over again we would literally have like five ranks difference and i would still see them in my games being a top 500 player Developers actually looked into that and in their Steam update they said that we are looking into the new league which will bring new rewards and people would compete there. Hopefully this is gonna be some sort of an FPL in CSGO where you would have really really good players that are competing against each other and then other players can play in regular ranked without skill based matchmaking. Don't get me wrong, you still will have massive skill gaps between players there, but it's not going to be as extreme in comparison with what you would have before. Because when you are just unlocked ranked and playing against mean ranked, for example, something is utterly wrong. Custom games is another important aspect of the finals and if developers actually cook custom games to the point where we would have something similar to Overwatch where you can go for dating, you can go for parkour, you can go for interesting arcades and game modes where people would hang out. I'm not talking about like pro level lobbies, I'm not talking about tournaments, this is also very very important. But if you look at the essence of the game, 99% of the player base would never strive to become anything more than a diamond that you can easily get just by grinding the game. So for them, custom games will be a chance to connect with people, play with friends, explore the map, find some interesting easter eggs and overall just relax after a long day at work and it's only like 0.1% of players that were constantly asking for custom games in order to run like high tier scream lobbies, tournaments, all of that is very very important as it will bring a lot of potential on Twitch, people would love to see tournaments. I feel like this game has massive potential when it comes to how unique and entertaining pro scene is gonna be in comparison with just regular stuff like Overwatch or CSGO or even Apex which is an absolute snooze fest in my opinion. This is gonna be absolutely incredible and the skill ceiling is gonna be so high in this game cannot wait to watch and compete myself. Weapon balance and class balance are also going to be a pain points that we are experiencing for the past three months. Red Barrel Nuke is still in the game for some reason. I have no idea what developers are cooking with this one, but it is absolutely, it should never be in the game in the first place. The fact that you can reliably one shot on <clears throat> the most overpowered class in the game tells me that something is utterly wrong. Another overtuned thing in my opinion is heavy shotgun. I feel like they would need to bring it to the point where you won't be able to reliably 4 tap heavies and 3 tap mediums. This way you will actually make people play loose gun which will drastically change meta, drastically change the way you approach cash outs. It will make you 
go for high ground a lot more, it would make you use destruction a lot more so you can have lines of sight to see at cash outs and it's gonna encourage you to start practicing your aim, your tracking is gonna get better and overall you will become a better player because when you were playing shotgun you won't it, it just, you just stagnate when it comes to aim, there is nothing extraordinary you have to do, you don't need to focus that much, you just go in, close the distance and fort up anyone that's close to you. When we talk about class balance, I feel like double heavy or double medium are both very very cringe compositions to play with and against and one of the possible solutions developers can cook is going to be roll queue when you are choosing what are you playing especially if you are solo queuing jesus that's gonna be so helpful you will be able to choose what you are playing you will be able to choose what you want from your teammates to play and it will match you with players that are on your level and on their respected roles just like in overwatch <laughs> I would assume that no one would want to play medium, so Q times for medium are gonna be super fast, but then Q times for light are gonna be super long because everyone wants to be the hero, everyone wants to be the superstar in the team, but end up um, it just being a 150 HP cockroach that's getting double RPG'd. Another possible solution for that is to delete um, repeating specialization so you won't be able to cook up mesh shield plus mesh shield. It's gonna be mesh shield plus goo gun or mesh shield plus charge and slam. Or you are playing charge and slam and goo gun if you are ipsy like that. I also thought about an interesting prediction for new weapons that were shown in the trailer. This is gonna be a shotgun for heavy. This is gonna be a FAMAS for medium and a pistol for light. One of the worst things they can do is to make these weapons overpowered, just like they did in Call of Duty, just to sell more skins. What they should do instead is that they should like test them out thoroughly for the first few days and then go for quick fixes depending on how good the weapon feels. Do not wait for weeks, do not wait for months, just get everything straight so people are gonna be happy about it. In my personal opinion, none of the three weapons are gonna be meta. Light pistol will lack range and you're just gonna die from cringe from shotgun. You're just gonna die from cringe from environmental stuff. Uh, medium FAMAS feels like it's gonna be very, very unreliable to the point where you really would never be able to like reliably kill people just like you would with SCAR. And heavy shotgun, I feel like community has complained way too much about this type of weapon for developers to be smart about it and actually cook up the nerf for it. Hopefully this is gonna be like that. So anyways, these are my thoughts for season 2. It is gonna be tomorrow in about 20 something hours from the postage of this video. Hopefully, hopefully we're gonna get an amazing season, cannot wait for that, cannot wait to play, cannot wait to compete uh, in a pro scene, see you in the next one, take care.